Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic. And in this one, I'm going to talk about programmable array logic, uh, which is shortened as P-A-L. If you are watching these videos because you want a practical understanding of uh, digital electronics, you may want to pass this one up. This is something of a holdback from the past. Uh, you can still get these guys. Uh, if you check your favorite distributor, you'll see that they have some of them on hand, but they're going to be in a DIP package or a uh, PLCC package, which you almost never see in a new design anymore. Uh, but anyway, here's how they work. Uh, or what they are is they are a uh, bit of uh, logic that allows you to realize uh, different functions and um, they are very similar to a programmable logic array. Um, anyway, they look like this. You have your input buffers. I'm just going to draw three of them. Actually, I'll back off from that a little bit. Then we have a uh, big array of wires. Okay, and they connect up like this. So each one of these connects up to a vertical wire. All right, and then we have a bunch of AND gates. And they come along like this. Now, each of these is not really a one input and one input AND gate. What they are are however many wires there are here AND gates. And then you can program the connections here. And all of these guys come into an OR. which then comes to a tri-state buffer. Like that. And so you can enable or disable the output based on this input logic. And then, um, let's see, how did this work? It was like this, and then you have Barely left myself enough room, but uh, you have another input buffer like that that comes and connects up like that. So you can get a back feeding. And finally, here is your output. So that's a programmable array logic. It's not really used anymore, but uh, you'd probably be tested on that if you have a digital logic class. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, Take a look at uh, my other videos on my YouTube channel or visit robotbrigade.com where I have a nice index of all these videos that you can take a look at.